Good morning, good morning. Happy Tuesday. It feels like Monday. My kids were out of school. My hair is looking nasty, but I have tennis tomorrow and it destroys my hair. Like I'll come out of practice and the only thing dry are like maybe the tips, like it's drenched. And I absolutely, and it doesn't, sweat doesn't dry as quick as like water. Have you ever noticed that? Like my hair stays wet the entire day. It's disgusting until I wash it. So I definitely have to wash it tomorrow. So we're gonna try, we're gonna try our best to do the dry shampoo thing. How often, random question, how often do y'all use dry shampoo? I'll put a little poll. I don't use dry shampoo that much. I um, use it maybe a couple times a month. I feel like I've washed my hair so much more frequently now because of sweat from playing tennis three to four days a week. That is the biggest bummer about being an athlete. Yeah, today feels like Monday, but it's Tuesday. Kids had off yesterday for like a teacher work day or whatnot. Took the kids to go play pickleball. They loved it. Berkeley was so mad and sad whenever we had to leave. She wanted to keep playing it. Vaughn was getting hot. He was down for the leave. And Viv took her role as ball girl very, very seriously. She's just the best, the best ball girl. She didn't really want to play. She just wanted to chase the balls. And then whenever she didn't have any balls to chase, she would lob them over to the next court. No one was there playing. And then she would, you know, create jobs for herself. Today, in a little bit, once I get some things done that I need to get done first, I'm going to look up the measurements of the pickleball pickleball court. And I just looked up my badminton net that's in the backyard, and it also doubles as a pickleball net. So we can, I'm going to see if we have room in our driveway. That way the kids can practice. Now, chasing the balls into like the woods is going to be the worst thing ever. So maybe I should look up like, like a portable outside net. I don't even know if that exists. It's got to, it's got to, right? So I'll look that up. Um, but that's what I want to do today. But before I do that, Ellis Brooklyn, the perfume that I've shown on Amazon, it's a clean luxury perfume. I got us a discount code. Code is 20 off Jen. You use it on Amazon. Um, whenever you check out, you'll enter the code and it takes 20% off. This is a clean luxury fragrance brand. I've talked about it multiple times and they are so good. I have been wearing Ellis Brooklyn's Super Amber since early spring. I want to say January of this year. Oh, it's my favorite. It smells so good. If you are looking for a cleaner fragrance line, this is registered uh, a clean brand under Sephora. It's made in the USA. It's that word, phthalate-free, paraben-free, cruelty-free, and vegan. Um, so good. Super Amber is like like everyone should wear it now. It's so fall. It's like woodsy and musky and has a little bit of masculinity to it. It's warm. It's my favorite. It's so good. Next is salt. Salt is my second favorite. It's more like light and summery and happy. I feel like scents are so subjective. I should ask Haley and Mike because they're really like sensitive to scents. I should have them pick their favorites too and that way you can get a different profile. Apple Love is my third favorite. It's fruity. It smells really good. My fourth favorite is Vanilla Milk. It's real vanilla-y. So it, it's like musky vanilla. Like, it's really nice. Do you know men are like, apparently like vanilla like smells good to almost all men, apparently? I don't know. I don't know if that's true. I read that somewhere. But I do like it. It's just really vanilla-y. So if you like smelling like, I don't want to say vanilla cupcake because that sounds bad, but like, food almost like it smells like vanilla then you'll love this if you don't then pass on this one but those are my four so super amber number one salt is second apple love is my third these three are like hard to pick they're so i mean super amber is my favorite but these two are like super hard to pick second and third and then fourth vanilla because i do think it smells good i just don't want to wear it every single day this is like this would be um nice for like the straight out of the shower type vibes like very fresh happy, sugary, sweet type vibes, um, but they're all really good. I had Andrew reach out to this company months ago because the perfumes aren't super cheap. And so I'm like, I want to get a discount code so bad. And I actually had dinner with her at the brewery when she came into town, Be a super sweet, the founder. Can you do me a favor? Can you come smell perfumes real quick? Yeah, I love that. <laughs> you got to tell me the notes because you're so much better. Um, She's super, super sweet. The founder, her daughter's name is Ellis, hence Ellis Brooklyn. She's in Brooklyn. 
Um, super, super sweet lady. So we had dinner and we talked about our product and like getting into the beauty industry and wanting to create like a clean, cleaner fragrance line. Anyways, I'll have Mike explain the scents to you and see what he thinks. Okay, close your eyes, closing. close your eyes, close your eyes. Okay, sniff it, Haley. Tell me what it's blowing out. It's by your nose. <laughs> it's in your nose. It is like warm. It's like a warm smell. You may spray it in here, honey. No, because then. No, no, it'll mess it all up. smell again. You won't be able to smell the others. I mean, I like it. I like that one a lot, actually. Just the one I've been wearing for the past, I don't know, eight months. Yeah, but... that's, that's why I like it. <laughs> You like that one? Mm, I do. That one's called Super Amber. I didn't. I was about to say it smells like amber. Really? Okay. Literally, I swear. Is that an like, actual scent? Do you like that one? Amber? Yes, I think so. Do you like that one better or this one? Oh, they're both nice. This one's a more like um, blue. <laughs> blue. <laughs> <laughs> I know you don't like this one that much. I can't tell what the scents are though. It's like salty. You're lying. It's called salt. Oh, really? No one wants to smell like <laughs> salt. It smells like clean to me. Like, doesn't it? It does smell clean. Um, like beach. Like, I'm put me on a beach. I'm it a is kind of giving beach. Which is I why it's totally called. See that. Yeah, which is why it's called salt. It's I more floral salt. than this one. Yes. Ocean beach this day. one smells like a super rich hotel. Yes. I've been smelling like a like. super rich hotel. A hotel. Like a super. Oh, so see that. Yeah. yeah. Like a, like, In New York. Like a super high end hotel. It's really good smell. I love that amber. Smell that. That one's way more floral. Or way more oh, no. roses. It's like roses. That one's so good. It's Haley's favorite. <laughs> Apple. Love. It's nice. But you're right. It's, it's Haley like likes more like florally mm, sweet. Yes, yeah, sweet. And I like more like masculine yep. warmth. Would yep. you say? Yes. It's giving apple. It's giving. She loves it. <laughs> it's giving love. It's giving love. Even it's giving New York City. Everything's New York City for you. Mm. Wow. Which one's your favorite, Super Amber or Apple Love, Mike? Amber, like nice. <laughs> This is a test. Do y'all see this scent? It's backwards, so y'all can make it out. <laughs> Honey, what kind of feelings does this evoke in you? Oh, sorry. Uh, it smells like baking, like uh, cookies or something like that. Like vanilla. Are you aroused at all? Not really. It makes me like, <laughs> it smells like, like, it's nice. It's like a warm feeling. Like it's apparently like home. Men, apparently, men, like apparently men are supposed to like react like kind of in a responsive aroused way. No, but this one also smells like a, I know I keep going back to the hotel smell. You can open your eyes now. You nailed it. It was vanilla milk. You're, you're so good at like nailing scents. I couldn't tell you any of these except that I like it or I don't. Yeah. This one's nice. This is a really good, I I think I like Amber. It's my, my my order would be Amber, Amber, this one, vanilla, this one, salt, and I do not like this one at all personally. (laughs) No, no. Are you aroused at all? That really makes me like I don't think I realize how much I really like girly smells. Yeah, yeah you do. Over like masculine ones. Whoa, okay, you're right. A pre? It's like le- leathery. It's like masculine. It's not. Too masculine yeah. for me. A pre, isn't that like skiing in French or something? Yes, yeah. it smells like leather. He's right. So if you like u- uber masculine, You'll like a pre. I'm not sure about myth. I can't, the I can't really figure this one out. I don't know what I'm smelling. It's very subtle. This Ugh. one's really light. Super Amber is just the top shelf. When you select the fragrances you want, you have to go to checkout. And once you go to checkout, then you can enter the code. I said the code wrong on one of the slides. My code is 20 off Gen T, but it's kind of confusing. You have to put it in the cart, go to checkout. And then in the middle, it says use gift card voucher or promo code in blue and you tap on that and you go all the way down to the bottom and there's like a little toggle where it says add the promo code. Make sure that's on because then you can put the code in it, type in 20 off Gen T and then there'll be a little arrow for it to like solidify the code. It does work. Haley and I have both tried it. Um, it's just, if you've never entered a code, I've entered a code lots of times, so I know how to do it. But if you haven't entered a code on Amazon, um, you just have to learn their little process to enter it. And again, it's 20 off Gen T and it's for their entire storefront. So anything Ellis Brooklyn, not just their perfumes, they have other things too. Um, little travel sprayers and whatnot, but again, 20 off Gen T. If you're interested in the fragrances, but you're really picky, like Mike is very picky, he would probably have to smell it in store before he actually makes a purchase like this. They actually have a set. 
If you tap through any of my links, go to the store, Ellis Brooklyn, and then categories, there's gifts and sets, and it's called a biography discovery set. It's 35 bucks, and you get a ton of little tinies to try. I think that is a heck of a good deal. And also, I know it's early, it's September, but while I have this code, because it also works on top of that, a great like stocking stuffer or Christmas gift, like a really fun find because every, most everyone wears perfume. And so it'd be fun to like mix it up and try it up for a little gift. Um, so again, that's 20% off anything in their storefront, um, including all of their gift sets, their travel fragrances. Um, I guess that the mini set would be a really fun thing, not only for you, but as a gift idea. I'm gonna make a driveway pickleball court. Here we go. Do we have enough room? A little short. Haley. Not <laughs> rude. <laughs> Homemade pickleball court, 10 out of 10 recommend, measuring more accurately. But other than that, it's doable. It's a doable thing. We can hit balls here. That's all that matters. Are you just bald? Yeah. I'm all sweaty and gross. I did not even realize that a package was being delivered in that video. Also, if you listen to the very end, you hear a tree fall. A tree fell as I was recording it. Go back and watch it. It's at the very, very end. You can hear like a faint rustle and a tree fell as I was filming that. I'm not gonna lie, I have hesitations with this one. Hold on, let's talk about it. Let's think about it. I have a plan of action, maybe. You're the one who flips. I just literally lay here like this. Are we, we going? We like practice on a doll? Practice on a